Hello. Good evening. This fine, beautiful day. We read from Luke 15, and I'm um, supposed to read from Proverbs 31. Oh, I noticed you said suppose. That means yeah. you didn't. But I got I liked <laughs> Luke 15 a lot because okay, it had a lot of parables, like the past couple chapters in Luke, mm -hmm. and the one that probably is the most well known, one of the most well known, is the parable of the lost son mm -hmm. and uh, prodigal. The prodigal son, yeah, mm -hmm. well, he was lost, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I also loved the, the fact that the father was not judgmental, that he was caring and understanding. So uh, it's important to understand, no matter what age you are, uh, important not to be judgmental, but try to help people. Because if you want to see something change, you know, like try to actually change instead of complaining about it or uh, always talking about what's wrong with people. Or this and that, you know, so be understanding, but not too understanding where you just, you know, like, oh, whatever, but try to help and guide people. Beautiful. That spoke to me also, and the verse that you were specifically talking about is when the father saw the son afar off, he had compassion. And boy, for such a time as this, that is so needed. Someone with all the workshops and sessions that I have set through the last few weeks with the public schools. They said the main school supplies that you're going to need this year is flexibility, grace, and something else. But I would say compassion because so many people are going through so much that we need to empathize. We might not be in their exact shoes, but yeah, we have to extend grace to each other. One that spoke to me, so many, uh, I think verse 13, it says, And there he wasted his substance with riotous living or wild living. When we see people on the street, I always tell Timotheus that um, if you have time, try to talk to them and get their story. Because somewhere along the way, they might not have listened to something or perhaps their parents um, uh, left, maybe they were sick, or something. But no one ever plans to just become homeless or uh, live on the street and not have resources. But God is graceful and he wants his people to extend our hand and show compassion to them because oh but for the grace of God it could have been on us mm -hmm. and also talking about supplies and provisions verse 31 son daughter thou art ever with me the Lord and all that he has is thine so all of our needs are supplied according to his riches and glory all right, Proverbs 31, since you memorized the whole chapter and you didn't have to read it, about the virtuous woman and the mother talking to the son about good judgment, stay away from wine so that you can help others and plead the cause of the poor and needy. That's in verse 9. Again, let's advocate for those who are without because God wants us to show kindness and to be resilient and be their strength. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, be resilient and strong, not, no, more, no, uh, not so much like physically, but you have to have a strong mind. Yes. Yeah. And that's in verse 25. Strength and honor are our clothing. Let's make sure that we put that shirt and that the pair of pants on strength and honor and strength strength and honor and we shall laugh in the days to come and the time to come that's verse 25 that means we have faith all of our trust is in the lord for the future and let's have compassion for others have a good one